hello friends and uh, like welcome back in the channel that is we are in techno world basically in this video i would tell you that how to write one program using secant method in case of cbnst right so uh, in the previous video i have told you that how to write one regular falc program okay so what you do first of all you just open that regular falc program okay because uh, like in case of regular falci and secant only there is a very basic difference that in case of regular falci like if you have solved it numerically or with the help of program as well you could check in the output window that only one interval is being changing right only the lower bound is changing again and again right there is no change in the another interval okay so in case of secant method like what we have to do we have to uh, like remove this if condition okay only the change which we have to do in case of secant method is like you just remove this condition this if condition you just remove okay and in place of that you just swap the both of the values okay our main focus is on like to change both of the intervals okay so in case of secant this condition would be removed okay so we would write x1 equals to x2 and after that the value of x2 would be initialized uh, like uh, x3 would be initialized into x2 okay so just like this we could change the uh, like the both of the intervals okay means every time x1 would be changed and every time x2 would be changed in each and every iteration okay so just like that we could achieve the approximate root in the early iteration right and the another thing which we have to do is like in case of secant as both of the intervals are being changing okay x1 is like x1 is being changing and even though the x2 is being changing okay so that means we could do comparison in x1 and x2 so that means we could write x1 minus x2 over here right if it is greater than 0.0005 then what you do you just print the final approximate root okay so these are the two changes which you have to do okay in case of secant method right and after that you just run it compile it so as you could check that in case of regular falci we were getting the final answer or the final approximate root in 10 iteration right but in case of secant method only in seven iteration we are just getting our answer okay in iteration number 1 the like like 1 and 2 was the interval in iteration number 2 the interval was 2 and 1.25 in third iteration the interval were 1.25 and 1.40 that means now we need to find out the approximate root between these two okay then in the like fourth iteration Like, uh, like uh, our intervals, uh, like uh, has been changed. Now we have to find out the root between one point four zero seven four zero seven and one point five nine six zero eight three. So just like that, every time in every iteration, like both of the intervals are keep on changing. Okay, so just like that, we are getting our final approximate root only in seven iteration for the same equation which we have did in the case of regular falci method. okay so just like that you could write the c program for it you could run it on your system as well if there would be any kind of problem then do comment in the below comment box right i would try to solve your problem okay so till then thank you thank you so much